Did you know that penetrating chest trauma is related to almost 50% deaths related to all trauma-related mortalities? Hi, my name is Dr. Kamran Ali and I'm a principal consultant in thoracic surgery and lung transplant at Max Saket Super Speciality Hospital, New Delhi. And today we'll be uh, delving into a very uh, important and crucial topic called penetrating chest trauma. So if you're ready, let's dive deep in. So penetrating chest trauma can be life-threatening. Penetrating chest trauma usually results from either a stab injury to the chest and the stab can be from a knife, a blade or any other sharp object or it can also be because of a gunshot injury. So a timely assessment is very crucial in patients of penetrating chest trauma. So a quick assessment by a good uh, complete history, a detailed physical examination complemented by essential imaging is absolutely necessary. Usually the imaging modalities that we use for assessing penetrating chest trauma are CT scan of the chest, chest x-rays and sometimes some other modalities. So once you've completed the assessment, you will understand what all organs are injured with that penetrating chest injury. The immediate uh, interventions that one may have to undertake while dealing with a penetrating chest trauma is the placement of a chest tube. Most commonly with the penetrating chest trauma, there would be either blood outside the lungs, which is called hemothorax, or air outside the lungs, which is called pneumothorax. In both these situations, the air or the blood will cause pressure on the lungs and the lungs are going to collapse. And once the lungs collapse, the patient is going to have some breathing difficulty and the oxygen saturations are going to drop. So it's very important that immediately a chest tube should be placed by the ER physician or by the surgeon or who is available so, so as to drain the blood and air as quickly as possible and help the lung re-expand. Emergency surgeries are usually required in life-threatening hemothorax when there is an underlying lung injury or a vessel injury which is leading to continuous bleeding uh, in the chest and this bleeding has to be taken care of. It has to be controlled by means of surgery. If the esophagus which is the food pipe or the trachea which is the windpipe are injured, they may also have to be primarily repaired if the uh, extent of injury is severe and is causing uh, clinical deterioration of the patient. So penetrating injuries of the chest are very complex and prompt intervention is key for a successful outcome uh, of the patient. So these patients should be managed at a center which has a specialized thoracic surgeon, a good critical care backup and a good overall hospital support so that all these complex issues can be handled carefully. I hope you found this video informative. Uh, if you have any doubts or queries, please feel free to drop a comment uh, uh, in the comment section below and we will be happy to answer them. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.